Hey guys, today I have a quick and easy project. Well, at least I'm hoping it's going to be quick and easy. I've had this project idea for a jewelry holder for quite a while now and with Mother's Day coming up, I thought this was a great time to put it together. So let's get started. So this is what I'm using. This is going to be the base. This is six inches wide and 12 inches long. It used to be a one by 10, which I thought was way too wide. So I ripped it down to six inches. You could use a one by six. You could use a one by eight. It, it really just depends on how big you want to make this. So it really totally is up to you. And then I have these pieces here. These are 2.5 millimeter underlayment, which are scraps actually left over from my staircase makeover. But you could totally use quarter inch plywood too if you wanted to. To calibrate my table saw, I like using a digital angle gauge. I set it to zero on the table and then I use it on the blade to measure the angle. I want to make cuts at 15 degrees, so I set the blade at 75, which is 19 minus 15. I lowered the blade so that it was just a little bit more than half the thickness of the board. So now here's the deal. I don't want the slot to go all the way through. I want it to go only up to about eight inches so that over here I can add a bracelet holder. So to do that, I mark the eight inches right here and I'm going to set it such that that's sort of where the blade starts to angle down. Now, when I set up the fence, I can mark exactly where the board's going to be when I stop making the slot. I mark the location of the measurements with masking tape on the fence. I set up the fence so that the first groove was about an inch from the edge of the board and turned on the table saw. I stopped as soon as the edge of the board hit the edge of the masking tape and waited for the saw blade to come to a complete stop before lifting the board. Then I moved the fence by about an inch and repeated the same process again. You really want to make sure to wait for the blade to completely stop spinning before you lift the board. For the bracelet holder and the ring holders, I cut up the 3 quarter inch and 7 16 inch dowels on my miter saw. I put the 3 quarter inch dowel in my vise and drilled a hole for the dowel. I started with the pilot hole and then I used a half inch bit up to about halfway into the dowel. I attached a 7 16 inch dowel using wood glue. The fit was very tight and I left it to dry overnight. Now for the base, I marked the location for the bracelet holder. Made a hole and inserted the dowel. Similarly for the ring holders, I measured, marked, and made the holes and inserted them using wood glue and left them to dry. Now for the earring and necklace display. I cut the two and a half millimeter underlayment into rectangles. I measured and marked a grid of about an inch. And I used a quarter inch drill bit to make holes. I did stop to check if the earrings fit comfortably. And then I just went ahead and made all the holes. As you can see, I'm using a scrap two by four underneath. This helps not only protect the work surface, but it also keeps the plywood from splintering. For the necklace holder, I measured and marked the location on the top of the board. I covered it with masking tape to stop the plywood from splintering and made the cuts using a jigsaw.
On second thoughts, I should have used the same process on the earring holder as well because now I had to spend time sanding away all the pencil marks. Another thing I did not think about was to paint the ring and bracelet holders before attaching them. So I had to cover the entire thing up with lots of masking tape and paper and take it outside to spray paint them gold. Finally, I stained the jewelry holder in American Walnut. I also added a little bit of personalization to the jewelry holder with my Cricut and we are done. There is a spot for everything on this jewelry display. And the best part is that it is extremely customizable. You can change or increase the number of the display cards. You can add more ring holders, more bracelet holders. Really, you can completely change it around to meet your needs. And of course, it makes a great gift as well. If you're looking for more fun, easy, woodworking projects, be sure to check these out. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out any future projects.